yesterday. I, I do. I think it was a good and productive meeting. It was a candid meeting. Uh, and I think we're close. There's a lot of common ground. There were discussions about areas that, that, that still are differences, and I think we're making progress. Uh, we came from that meeting with a renewed commitment to keep working, to keep negotiating, and to get to yes. And in my view, failure is not an option. This is, for seven years, Republicans have campaigned promising the voters we would repeal the disaster that is Obamacare. We've got to deliver on that promise. I believe we can, and I think we're making real progress. Does President Trump need to do anything else? He's got to, He keeps getting everybody together. They're not there yet. Do you think that the president should be doing something else? Listen, I think the president was very helpful bringing the conference together and delivering the strong message that we need to get this job done. Uh, that's helpful to hear from the president, and the administration has played a very important role. You know, just a few days ago, HHS released a, a study analyzing the effect of the Consumer Freedom Amendment. Uh, it is a study that shows that the Consumer Freedom Amendment would increase coverage, increase insurance coverage by over two million people, and it would decrease premiums substantially by over $7,000 a year. For people who are hurting, that's real money, and, and, and that shows exactly what we've been saying for a long time, which is the way you lower premiums is through competition, through market forces, through giving consumers the freedom to choose their own health care that's best for them and their families. What did you make of President Trump's comments to Senator Heller? He suggested that if he wants to remain a senator, he'll get on board with the plan. Well, listen, the president has own way of communicating. What, what I will say is the Senate conference is working collaboratively to bring everyone together and get everyone to yes. And, and, and to do so, uh, you know, the process, going back to February when Lamar Alexander and I joined together to form the health care working group with, with, with senators across the ideological spectrum, uh, from moderates to conservatives, working to get to yes. I think we've got a lot of common ground. And I think we've discovered the keys to uniting the conference. The central key is focusing on lowering premiums, and you do that through expanding consumer freedom. I would note the current Senate bill, not only does it have the Consumer Freedom Amendment that I drafted, that lowers premiums by over $7,000 a year, but in addition to that, it also allows people to pay uh, health insurance premiums from health savings accounts. That is a big, big deal. That's illegal under current law. What that means for millions of Americans is your effective premium rates drop another 20 to 30 percent because you're paying with pre-tax dollars. If we keep focusing on lowering premiums, and I would say in addition to that, on expanding flexibility for governors, expanding flexibility for states, that's the path to getting the yes and the honoring this process. So, Senator, did you share the HHS report with your colleagues today, Mr. President? What did they say? Uh, yes, I, I did share the report with all of the senators there and the president, and, and there was widespread agreement that those reductions in premiums are a big, big deal. And not only do premiums go down, enrollment goes up. You know, you know so often, actually, folks in, in the media misunderstand this issue. They think that all the Obamacare mandates somehow expand coverage. It's exactly the opposite. The Obamacare mandates drive up prices. When things are more expensive, millions of people can't afford to buy them. Six and a half million people the IRS fines each year because they can't afford to buy insurance and they get fined on top of that. But the Consumer Freedom Amendment does is it allows more choices, more options, it lowers prices, and because of that, over two million additional people get coverage. That's how you get a win-win by fighting for the consumers, fighting for the individuals at home. So right, what do 